back from that our particular break uh we'll still be actually showing you the game between chelsea and 30m football club uh that was what happened between the two teams last season but we were showing you what happened yes a day before yesterday in the english premier league and so talking football tonight let's quickly talk about the uh biggest the finest uh the most lucrative and the uh most watched uh inter-club tournament in the continent talking about the way for champions league and many are saying, will this be the end of Real Madrid? Though they are topping their group, but remember, they've lost a game. Uh, last season, last two seasons, they were in devastating form, winning the UEFA Champions League back to back to back. And actually setting record once again to actually being one of the best or even the best ever club to play the uh, football club tournament. Let's talk about this tonight, Tola. Let's start with Group E, the first game that we'll be seeing tomorrow. AK Athens up against Hayas. And we'll be seeing Bayern Munich actually take to the field against Befica. Befica, they have uh, 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 something to fight for. They want to actually uh, claim it, 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 something out of this. But for Bayern Munich, it is done and dusted. Yes, for Befica, it's, it's, uh, I think uh, they will try of course. for it to be very difficult for them considering the fact that they are going away to play Bayern and if you look at the group you know they are third and the only thing I see them settling for is the Europa League because Ajax will not be uh, sleeping and watching you know Benfica and lose their last two games you know to come from four points mm. and override them on the table so it will be very very difficult I must say for Benfica and if you look at the game against the Bayern Munich versus uh, sorry against AEK Athens versus Ajax Ajax will look at it that even if we are not winning we should be getting a result a result if they are able to draw their next two games I think it's okay for and them and then the, the reverse feature between AK Athens and Ajax it ended in favor of Ajax it ended in favor of Ajax so you understand the fact that if we are talking about this group group E of the UEFA Champions League I think for me Bayern Munich Ajax done and dusted okay thank you very much Bayern Munich and Hayas done and dusted let's talk about the next group that we'll be seeing take to the feet tomorrow is group EF and we'll be seeing Offiam against Shakhtar Donetsk uh, Shak uh, Offiam against Shakhtar Donetsk and we'll be seeing Lyon Lyon surprise package will they be doing double over Manchester City there is a question that needs to be answered on the field of play tomorrow yes it's a game that uh, I I personally am looking forward to because, you know, they came to England in the first uh, leg. First game. First leg, first game, and they came to shock Manchester City despite the array of stars that Manchester City were able to parade. So, you know, it was a shocker. And yes. we know Man City for who they are. They would look to come back and they would look to, you know, want to defeat Leon in their place. I'm not saying it's a given, but they have the squad depth, like I always say. You know, they can afford to rest one player and another player will come in. So it is a game in which they would also be looking to cement their top spot because if they lose that particular game, Leon climbs up to nine. Uh, point alongside City and you know when they, head when they head. use the head-to-head -head, it makes Leon you know topple the group as for Hoffenheim I think um, they should look to settle for Europa League and you don't want to rule out Shakhtar for the Europa League positions they also they are sitting on two points which means if you are able to get a result against Hoffenheim tomorrow it puts them in a you know good position you know to go for the Europa League but as for the top two talking about the teams that will qualify I would say City and Leon Okay, you think it is City and Leon. Actually, let's keep our finger crossed and wait till tomorrow. And subsequently, we will qualify from this particular group. Let's still talk away for Champions League tonight. We'll be talking about Group G, uh, where CSK Moscow will be up against Victoria Pleasants. And Roma will welcome Real Madrid. The two clubs are having nine points each. But we'll actually match the winner of the group. This question needs to be answered on the field of play tomorrow when they take to the pitch at Stadio Olimpico. Definitely, Dottie. You know, talking about Roma against Madrid, it is a game that decides, you know, who topples the group. The first leg, Madrid were able to, you know, win that particular encounter. And now it is the return fixture. And Roma will be looking to, you know, get one over Real Madrid. Because when it comes to the Champions League group, there is a need for you to topple your group. Because if you don't topple your it group... It will put you in a very good position to get easy draw in the next and round. And that is what has affected us now 
over the years during the era even of when us now won the group and they that, was the only, that was the only time <laughs> they that was the only time that was the only time they won the group <laughs> so, but so after is have, used to get it as now have always been unfortunate you know <laughs> <laughs> instead of us now to look to finish the group uh, 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 on top even, they, they we, finish even when they second, finish the group on it top it happened only once <laughs> they so, you know, Roma should, Roma should know that if they finish second in this group, it will be difficult for them to go and play another team that has already toppled their group. Madrid knows how to navigate their way through the Champions League. Either they play, either they top the group, or they are second. You know, it is a competition in which they've proved their metal over the last It is a competition they understand yes, better. You understand the fact that they've won it back to back to back. So Roma should be doing the hard work. They should be looking to get the three points tomorrow. They are playing at home. It is a good one for them. And for the rest of the team, talking about CSK versus Pleasing, CSK are good for the Europa League. They just need to, you know, defeat Pleasing and cement their position into going into the Europa League. Okay, they need to actually get the better of Victoria Pleasing and to say to what I'd like that, UEFA uh, Europa League, here we come. <laughs> let's do talk football tonight before we call it quit. Let's talk about Juventus up against Valencia. This is the biggest one in this particular group. Juventus went to, uh, to Spain and they got the better of Valencia by two goals to zero with a man down because Cristiano Ronaldo was given the matching order in that particular game and Manchester United we actually straight tackle at Old Trafford against young boys. Let's talk about Juventus Valencia first. This is the biggest game, let me say like that tomorrow. Yes, it's the biggest game that you know, these are two big teams uh, irrespective of the fact that uh, Juventus um, uh, Valencia we are not, they are not playing like the Valencia of last season, you know, they've dropped in form but you are still going to say Valencia are good value for, you know, for, for, for your money when it comes to La Liga when you talk about the big boys, they are amongst them Sevilla, Barcelona, Madrid, but against you know, uh, Juventus tomorrow it becomes a difficult task because we are going to Turin and for the group Young boys are the whipping boys. If Manchester United had not gone to win Juventus in the last fixture, if Manchester been, United can it do it, Valencia can do it. No, that's my point here. No, no, I'm just telling you that if yes, Manchester United can do yeah, it, Valencia can do I it. I know, but my point here is if Man U had not won, it would have put they would, they Valencia would be in a very, in a very position. good position yes, to qualify. Yes, but because right. they won, they've actually, you know, can dash the hope of Valencia. So Valencia would have, if United had not won. United would have been sitting but don't on forget, five points. If Valencia could get pick up a win today, tomorrow, against, uh, tomorrow rather, against uh, Juventus, and in the last game they got the better of Manchester United. You don't get what I'm saying. I, you are not getting my point. My they point have, is there are two I points understand. separating them. I understand. A win for Valencia tomorrow puts tomorrow them in a good position. Put them in a very that good is, position. That is, and that is one angle. You are not getting my point here is had Manchester United the, not, not won. won in Turin, yes, yes. Juventus would have gone all out yes. to want to win tomorrow. But now it becomes even more difficult for them because Man U will just look to defeat young boys and, you know, they are through alongside Juventus. So uh, uh, Valencia will still try, but it will be difficult for them. But don't you think that it is possible for them in to In football, actually... anything is possible. Okay, thank you very much. That's what I want to hear. That's what I want to hear. But for Manchester United, actually, they need to do everything possible to have to actually get to the next round. If you can remember, two weeks ago when we were discussing, I said Manchester know what Manchester United and the coach, the players and the coach know what is at stake. That losing this game is as good as not actually uh, getting to the next round of the UEFA Champions League, and they did the needful. I know they will not actually let this slip off their hands again. Yes, um, they, I, I think they are in a very good position now because tomorrow they are playing young boys. They are the ones to determine are, their fate. Yes, and they are playing at Old Trafford. And I think, irrespective of the fact that they are finding it difficult to break down teams in the Premier League, I think they would have too much for young boys to contain. So if they win tomorrow, they go straight to 10 points, which is as good as qualification for them. Okay, it is as good as qualification for them if they can get the better of young boys tomorrow. This is where we're going to do a cutting on today's edition of your favorite uh, sports show that happens to be a window to all footballing related activities. Many thanks to you, Tolani. Always a pleasure, Dr. And to the guys behind the camera, we say you a big thank you for always actually making sure 
we have a fantastic show. And to our viewers at home, we say you a big thank you for Diminute Feet to be a part of tonight's production. But we'll be leaving you with the highlight of the game we saw in the Spanish La Liga, talking about the game between Haiba and Real Madrid and the game between Atletico Madrid and Barcelona. Till we come your way again next Monday, I remain Adi Dotun, Agumbi Adi. Good night.